In this example, we will use the rules for expectation and variation for linear combinations. An engineering firm takes on several projects a year. The following probability mass function shows the likelihood that X number of projects are completed on time. Suppose the firm earns an income of $615,000 from all projects, so that's their base fee, and a $5,000 bonus for every project that's completed on time. The amount of income earned is the random variable Y. So this means that Y is equal to 5000 times x plus 615,000. So that's the base fee and we multiply for every time we complete a project on time, multiply that by 5,000. So y is equal to that expression. So the expectation of y is simply just equal to the expectation of 5,000 times x plus 615,000. So this is just a linear combination of x. So we can use the rules for linear combinations for expectations. So the expect so this is equal then to if we take the 5,000 outside, 5,000 times the expectation of x plus 615,000, which is really nice because it can be verified that the expectation of x is equal to 4.04. .04. So 5,000 times 4.04 .04 plus 615,000 is equal to a total of $633. $1,200. So this is the amount of money the firm is expected to earn based upon their base fee and the, and the bonus money for completing a project on time. So now if we want to find the variance of y, we can set up kind of a similar problem where the variance of y is equal to the variance of 5,000x plus 615,000. And this is then equal to the equal to 5,000 squared. So we pull out the value that's being multiplied by x and square it. And this is times the variance of x. Now we just drop off basically that addition of 615,000 because whenever we add a value to all the values in a random variable, it doesn't actually change the variability. It just changes where the center is. So that's why the 615,000 simply just goes away. All right, so 5,000 squared times the variance variance of x is equal to 5,000 squared times 2.32. So you can verify that value, find the variance of x. And this is then equal to about 58 million. Okay. So, and the units is a little strange. So for variance, it's always the unit squared. So this is like dollars squared. And that's typically why we take the standard deviation because it doesn't really make sense to talk about dollars squared. It makes more sense to talk about the same unit that our data is in, which is in just dollars. So if we take the standard deviation of y, this will be equal to the square root of the variance of y, which we know to be 58 million and so take the square root of 58 million and we get 7,615 dollars and 77 cents. So the amount of money that is earned by the firm varies on average 7,615 dollars and 77 cents. So hopefully this video helped you understand how you can take expectations and variances of variables that are linear combinations of another variable.